Hello, I'm Simon Whistler, you're watching Top 10's Net, and in the video today we're looking at the top 10 great clothing inventions. This video was written by Dr. Matthew Zarzekny, a history professor who owns the website historyandheadlines.com, so if you'd like to see more like this, go over there and check out his website. Alright, number 10. The Bikini Bathing Suit from 1946 Bestowed upon an adoring, mostly male public in Paris in 1946, while the United States conducted nuclear weapons testing at a remote Pacific atoll named Bikini, the skimpy two-piece bathing suit could easily rank much higher on this list if it was being written by a teenage boy. Number 9. Bulletproof Vest, 1975 not to be confused with steel armor, we are talking about the soft fabric type bullet resistant garments of today. Originally marketed by Second Chance and American Body Armor, the Kevlar fiber vest marked a giant leap forward in protection against normal pistol bullets. Previous attempts at bulletproof garments employed natural fibers such as silk, and by 1900, vests using 18 to 30 layers of silk fabric would stop the slow pistol bullets of the day, although they cost $800 each. This meant that the average policeman or citizen could not afford one. With the widespread use of smokeless powder and more powerful handguns, vests without steel inserts were not effective. Kevlar and other modern materials make bullet-resistant vests affordable and practical for wear under normal clothes and are widely used by police, shopkeepers, politicians, and celebrities. Making a vest or clothing that is rifle-proof still requires steel or exotic modern materials that are heavy, bulky, and inflexible. Number 8. Pantyhose, 1959 Originally, pantyhose were just panties sewn to stockings and used by actresses and dancers on stage and in the movies. The garment as we know it today was first marketed in 1959. In the 1960s, better manufacturing techniques and use of spandex made pantyhose easier to make and more comfortable to wear. As skirts and dresses got shorter, pantyhose became more and more popular. In the past few decades, the shift in fashion from skirts and dresses for women and girls to pants has greatly decreased the sales of pantyhose. Still, many women today shudder at the thought of life without them. Number 7. Brazier, 1912. Previous attempts at underclothing that provided support for female breasts were bulky and expensive. Corsets started to be replaced by the precursors of modern bras in the late 1800s, but did not reach their modern form until Christine Hart patented her design in 1889, which was commercially sold in 1912. Mary Jacobs patented her U.S. design in 1914, and that was the first truly modern bra. Cups were first of only one size and made of a stretchy material, with the ABCD method of cup sizing appearing in 1932. Number 6. Gore-Tex, 1976 this thin, waterproof membrane can be laminated to lightweight clothing to provide rain protection while still allowing air to pass through. Now made by manufacturers under various names, Gore-Tex is extensively used by the military and safety forces, police and fire, as well as by adventurers, campers, hunters and fishermen, as well as all sorts of people who work or play outdoors and want light, rainproof clothing. Number 5. Synthetic Fibers, 1904 after unsuccessful efforts at modifying cellulose and other organic materials, rayon was invented, not named so until 1924, as a form of artificial silk. Nylon became the first polymer type of synthetic fiber in the 1930s, and a many others have followed. Stronger and more durable than natural fibers, as well as much cheaper to produce – think silk stockings and silk parachutes versus nylon ones – synthetics have revolutionized the garment industry. Number 4. Right and Left shoes, circa around 1800. Shoes started off as crude footbags of animal hide and then evolved into sandals and moccasins and even the Dutch sabot or wooden shoe. But it was not until the early 1800s that shoemakers started making the right and left shoe distinct from each other. Prior to that, each shoe was the same and could be worn on either foot. Considering how hard it is to find a comfortable pair of well-fitting shoes, this has to be one of those major steps, oh pun intended, forward for mankind. Number 3. Blue Jeans, 1873 Blue jeans are as American as apple pie. Actually, they are more American than apple pie. Cowboys, construction workers, hippies, old people, young people, men, women. It seems every group of people love blue jeans. Neil Diamond sang Forever in Blue Jeans, and a 1960s rock group was called The Swinging Blue Jeans. 
During the Cold War, Americans traveling behind the Iron Curtain used blue jeans as a currency, with citizens in communist countries paying huge premiums to get their hands on a pair. Now made in a myriad of styles and colors, even camouflage, it is hard to imagine a life without them. Number 2. Velcro from 1956 this fantastic invention was inspired by walking in a field and having burrs stick to trousers and a dog. Not perfected until synthetic materials were used, Velcro gained prominence when the US space program used it extensively on spacesuits and in spacecraft. Useful on shoes and every other item of clothing to replace buttons, snaps, and laces, Velcro comes in many colors, sizes, shapes, and different holding strengths. Children, elderly people, and people with diminished hand dexterity make very good use of Velcro's versatility. Number 1. Zipper circa 1900. First attempts at zippers did not meet with commercial success, introduced publicly at the 1883 Chicago World's Fair, but they did catch on, and numerous pants have been saved from soaking thanks to not having to fumble around with a button fly. Able to replace laces and buttons, zippers have made clothing and shoes, as well as luggage, purses, wallets, and other accoutrements, much handier. As great as Velcro is, there are simply some things that do work better with a zipper. So I really hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please do hit that like button below. And don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also over there on the right, a couple of other videos that you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one. Also head over to historyandheadlines.com for more stuff like this. And thank you for watching.